a dog with one bullet. September 21st, 1987. It's been one year since I first went inside that house. I have to finish what I started. What I am about to do has not been approved by the Vatican. Yo, 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 everybody, Pazikal here, and today we are playing Faith, the Unholy Trinity. It is a game developed by Airdwarf Games, and it's essentially like an Atari 8-bit exorcism simulator. <laughs> we got three chapters of goodness to go through, and let's just go ahead and jump into the first one here. What we're about to do has not been approved by the Vatican. So I guess nobody knows that we're here. Oh, we can actually continue going left. I thought we would reach a an invisible wall at some point. Oh. Nope, we just loop around, that's cool. Alright. Have you forgotten already? This forest has a mind of its own. If you get lost, you could always try remembering where you've been. Pressing the escape key or start button is a good place to start. Yeah, there's a little map. That's cool. Suffer. Oh. Mortis. Mortis. My insides have become a slurry for the monster. Okay, so maybe I should try holding the cross up. I also want to see what happened when he kills me. Oh, things change. No more deer. Chaos Was that me who said that? So where are we at now? I don't believe it shows our location on the map, but there are landmarks. Praise the Lord! Oh, okay. So we're at the house. Uh, should we go to the house? Yeah, screw it. I wanted to check out the well, but we could probably come back for that. Oh. Can I unlock it with the power of Jesus? No. Okay. Whoa! Mr. Martin, it has taken longer than expected registering the markers on your property. As a historical cemetery, our office has had difficulty identifying who was buried there. 
The inscriptions on the gravestones are written in a language that we cannot identify. I've sent the gravestones rubbings to some of my peers at the University of Connecticut. I'll reach out to you when I get a response from them. All the best. Daryl Henderson, State of Connecticut Historical Society. So I can only do this to some objects? Alright. That's cool though. We're gonna go to the well. Oh, I thought that was a well. It looks like a shed. The Martin's house lies about a hundred yards off the Snake Meadow Hill Road. There is almost no driveway. Trees jut out in the middle of the gravel path that is mostly covered in grass. It was difficult to find the house, especially since it was already dark when we arrived. Father Allred seems to know where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead until we arrived at the house. In the headlights, I saw the old shed off to the right of the path. Father Allred explained that he would rather perform the exorcism away from the house, but the Martins had insisted that Amy remain inside. He complained that having the family present makes it difficult to proceed with elements of the right that may seem harsh to the layperson. That's so cool how the music stops. Oh, did you, oh, I saw that. Yes! Embrace the Lord in thy arms. Poor little squirrel. Or maybe that was a fox. Oh, there is a well. Okay, the shed was just kind of like a random thing. Well, it wasn't really a random thing. We needed to find it, but... You're invited. Come celebrate Nate and Jason's sixth birthday. Saturday, May 3rd, 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. Turn right at 1338 Snake Meadow Hill Road and go straight past the well. Go straight past the well? Oh man, I was reading the map incorrectly the whole time. The house was all the way up north and the shed was on the right. I thought the house was over to the right. That explains a lot. There's still like a, a plant here that's alive. Ooh, there's notes galore. Let's read this one first. Mr. and Ms. Martin greeted us at the front porch. Mr. Martin led us downstairs to the basement, explaining that Amy was down there in restraints. I felt for him. There was guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic in a chair, perfectly calm, staring at us. It is hard to describe the look on her face as it was not the kind of look a child gives you. Gotta be careful. I don't want that monster, whatever the hell it was. They ambush me here. Oh, how cute. Purple, uh, purple kid. I'm just blessing everything in sight. Making sure. There's like fruit here. I'm not going to talk about the fruit. Must be fake. There's downstairs. Ooh. Blood over to the left. I don't know how we can... You know, we can't quite get over there. This is really taking me back. 
to those Atari days. Dear Amy, thanks for writing. It really brightened my day hearing from you. In your letter, you asked what was the weirdest thing I've seen as a missionary. The area we are working in has a lot of folks who is practicing Quimbamba. It's what you might call a pagan religion. It's kind of a mix of Catholic and African religions. One of the saints they worship is San Le Morte, or Saint Death. Yesterday we talked to a boy, about 15. When we asked him if he ever prayed, he said no. I have prayed to San La Morte. He told us about a time when he stayed over at his cousin's house, and according to him, they prayed to some figures of the San La Morte, and the figures made things in the house move around. He got real quiet and scared looking after that. We told him he could pray to God and that God wouldn't make him feel scared like that. We invited him to the church, but he hasn't come yet. I need to wrap this letter up and get back to work. See you in four months, Leighton. Looks like he can't examine anything or bless it. Oh. That doesn't look good. Amy's parents could not endure witnessing the proceedings of the rite for long. Miss Martin was hysterical, and the thing that was inside Amy was feeding off of the fear. Father Ulred asked me to take the Martins upstairs. I was physically worn out, but managed to get them back up the stairs into the kitchen. Amy was screaming, Mother! Mother! the whole time. Finally, I got them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. After a few minutes, we couldn't hear much of anything down in the basement. So I went down to check on things. I found Father Allred lying on his back, unconscious, with his arms spread out wide. Amy was not in the chair. Ooh. That's, uh, dang. The candles you guys uh, had burning here are still going. Why did I go upstairs? Or maybe I blacked out. But damn, was that art, like that animation so sick, you know what I mean? I guess I was the only one who thought to check in the attic. When I got there, it was freezing cold. I found Amy standing in the back, looking straight at me, like when I first met her downstairs. We spoke briefly, although it was frustrating to talk to her. Or it. I experienced a bit of deception from the demon. During our conversation, she uttered my mother's first name, and in the other instance spoke perfect Latin. I called for help from the others, but nobody came. So I raised my crucifix and began the rite again. So she has a way of isolating people and Oh 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 okay. I gotta choose the direction. Nope, 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 nope. Don't want to deal with you just yet. Oh, that was close, actually. Raise the toilet. And I'm guessing I'm supposed to go through that bloody door, right? Need a key of sorts. That was close. Oh. Oh, 
Well, I better find something quick. That is a big bed. I better find something quick or else I'm dead. She's getting real tricky with those uh, symbol steps. Oh! Oh, we're in the attic now. Molly, the church might contact you in a few days to tell you their version of what happened to me. I want you to hear it from me first. A year ago, I was involved in the exorcism of Amy Martin. What they said in the papers about what happened isn't true. She, my superior father, with... When I confronted her, she managed to cut the power to the house and her own parents, their own... So things are blotted out here with blood, I guess, or something. Redacted. I have to go back to the house. The nightmares I'm having are real. She's still here waiting for me. I can still help her. If I don't come back, I know that I love you. Sorry, John. So are we, John? So there's Father Allred, and then there's John. And Father John was the one who died on his back in the basement while we were upstairs with the mom and dad? My God, what happened to you? Do you think my face is pretty? I have to finish what I started. Die, I'm guessing we're supposed to just evade this gay. You will leave that body? Come to the light? Here we go. Oh! Mortis. Mortis. Oh, that's so cool, okay. I don't have to backtrack all the way back over here and start over again. You will not get me, demon! I have to finish what I started? Oh, 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 uh oh! That was close. I saved her? Alexa, stop! Can't get her. Oh.
we saved the world? Oh no, it's not over yet. She went out through the window. Kill her. How do I pick that up? Alright, time to finish what I started with a gun. Also, this looks like a really long cigarette. Apparently got one bullet. Twelve gauge tobacco right here. Oop. You are dead and blessed now, my child. Yeah, that definitely did not seem like the right thing to do. Guess we're done here. Go back to the car. That long walk when you realize what you've just done. <laughs> Ending one of five murderer. How do they know? How do they know? Police arrest man accused of murdering missing girl. <laughs> Oh no! A New York man is in custody after he confessed to the murder of a Sterling girl who had been missing. John Ward of Polymyra was pulled over on Snake Meadow Hill Road last night after a state trooper reported hearing a gunshot. Wow. You know, that what well, bad luck for me. The officer thought it might be poachers. The officer said Ward was acting nervous and suspicious after being pulled over. When questioned, Ward reportedly said, I've killed her. According to the police report, the officer called for backup after Ward became increasingly upset, saying repeatedly that there was a demon inside of her. Ward was taken to Sterling Police Headquarters for further questioning. Ward then confessed to the authorities that he shot and killed Amy Martin, a 17-year-old girl who had been missing for nine days after escaping from a mental institution. After a brief search, police located Amy's body in the woods near the now-abandoned Martin home, in addition to receiving a gunshot wound to the stomach, Amy showed injuries suggesting that she had been thrown out of the second-story window of the house. An officer who helped recover the body told reporters that Amy's face had been mutilated in a very brutal manner. Ward was found dressed as a priest when he was pulled over. It is suspected that he impersonated a priest to gain his victim's trust after Catholic authorities in Rome confirmed that Ward was not an ordained minister. The rest of the article is missing. Okay, <laughs> so we're not even a priest? What the hell is going on? New background unlocked. Alright, we're just gonna go and just continue where we left off, not pick up the gun. Got the little new background in there of uh, a poor victim we shot in the stomach. I get real close. What? Maybe we got a. Look at her from the front. Ew. We need something.
I don't feel safe in my own home anymore. I hear voices outside around the house at night. I don't let the twins go out of the woods to play because I'm afraid of what's out there. The house itself looks stressed, sorted, slanted somehow. It's like I'm walking through a carnival funhouse. Amy's condition has only gotten worse. I can't stand to be around her. I just don't know why. She just doesn't seem like herself anymore. I want to take her to the doctor, but I can't leave the boys here. I find the phone stops working throughout the day, and now I can't seem to find my car keys. I'm trying to look to see if there's any other clues I can use to, like, not shoot her. Okay, so what if I just don't shoot her and just take the gun? I was just going to take the gun and go. <laughs> I will say of the war, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror in the night, nor the evil that walketh in darkness. Because I have made the Lord my refuge. Because I have set my love upon him, therefore will he deliver me. I shall call upon him and he will answer me. He will be with me in trouble. He will deliver me and honor me. I can't explain what happened at that house. I can only have faith that I did the right thing. Man, the music's sick. Okay, ending 5 out of 5, so... What we do with the gun does depend on the ending. Police animal experts investigate chubacaba remains found <laughs> near Sterling. I, I guess that would look like a chubacaba after it's been shot and ran over. Sterling PD is enlisting the help of local animal experts from the University of Connecticut after the remains of an unidentified animal were found near Sterling. The remains of an animal, which some residents are calling a chupacabra, were discovered on Snake Meadow Hill Road by a motorist yesterday. The animal had apparently been struck by a vehicle and parts of its carcass were scattered across the road. Police say that they initially investigated the gruesome scene because the motorist who discovered the remains had to told them they appeared to be of a person. After arriving at the scene, police concluded that the remains were some kind of animal. As a matter of fact, Public safety, we want to be sure that what exactly we're dealing with here, said a Sterling police spokesman. This is clearly not a deer or a coyote. If it's a mountain lion or exotic pet that escaped from its owners or an animal with rabies, we need to know about it. Animal experts attached to the investigation would not speculate about what kind of animal had been found, although they com commented that the animal was hairless, anemic, and apparently suffered from the rickets and vitamin D deficiency that appeared in animals and children who have not received enough sunlight. They only hunt at night. What are you doing over here, man? I'm just gonna just see what happens if I shoot this guy. Nice and close. He tried to run. Wow, I actually feel kind of bad there. I'm just uh, bless the body here. Oh man, he was probably just filming a uh, haunted, scary location. Oh, poor guy. Oh. 
I will say of the war, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid. Oh, Father and Son. Esteemed Cardinal Gifford, with all due respect, you cannot grasp the importance of the work I am doing for young Michael. Without being present here, Michael needs my help now more than ever. In the past few weeks, I have made great progress with Michael's affliction. Nevertheless, whatever darkness is inside of him fights back with increasing ferocity. We must not let up the fight against the enemy at such a critical time. There is another reason why I dare not return Michael to his family, nor let them see him. Darkness inside him afflicts his soul, but it also causes a terrible strain on his body, so that there may be no mistaking what I mean. I have enclosed a photograph of young Michael during one of our sessions. The photograph is missing. Oh boy, so Michael was the was the one who turned into a chupacabra at the end. What if we use the gun on the deer? And I, I can't I can't take it with me to like salvage the meat. Alright. I will say of the war, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror. Unidentified body discovered near wrecked car. The site of a deadly car accident was discovered along the road near Sterling this morning, along with the body of a person who has not yet been identified. At 6 a.m. this morning, a resident called the report an accident along the Snake Meadow Road. The driver of a silver sedan had swerved off the road and struck a tree. A spokesman for the police commented that the body appeared to have been dragged several yards away from the car deeper into the woods after being ejected from the front windshield. It had been noted that the body had been mangled beyond recognition. Investigators suspect that this was probably the work of coyotes. Police also noted that parts of a cleaned white-tailed deer were found in the trunk of the car. From a white-tailed deer, a hunter typically gets 75 pounds of meat. However, it appears the victim of the accident was only able to carry 25 pounds back to the car. Oh, we just left the other 50 pounds out there in the, in the woods? That's probably why they killed us. We didn't respect and take all of it. Um, I don't know what else to shoot. I've been walking around here for a while. Let's <laughs> shoot the body. Uh, guess we messed with the wrong body. Ending three out of five, the offering. Hello, Amy. I'm sorry to hear about your parents' decision. It is hard for people to trust what they do not understand. I know you're only 17, but you are clearly an adult and you are able to handle your own life. Do not let your mom and dad stop you from following your dreams. If there is anything else I can do to help you, just let me know. We're having a get-together at the clinic Saturday night, and I would love for you to stop by. 
We are still considering you a part of the team. Even if your mom and dad do not. We hope to see you there. Gary. Alright, everybody. Well, I guess that's going to do it for Chapter 1 of Faith. We still have two more chapters to go through, and we got all five of the endings for Chapter 1. I wonder if there's going to be multiple endings for the next two chapters. Probably. But with that said, thank you all for hanging out and enjoying this game. This game rocks. It's available on Steam to download. Perfect game for Halloween. And with all that said, you all have a great rest of your week. This is Pazikal. See ya.